Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. Chris, wake up! He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. He reveals deep and it? secret things. He knows what is in the darkness, They're and light praying? dwells with him. I thank you and praise you, O God of my fathers. Take me to the king, and I will explain the meaning of his dream. Can you tell me my dream and what it means? Your Majesty, not even the smartest person in all the world can do what you are demanding. But there is a God in heaven who reveals secrets. And while you were sleeping, he showed you what will happen in the future. Your Majesty, what you saw standing in front of you was a huge and terrifying statue. This image, huge and dazzling, towered before you, fearful to behold. Its head was made of gold. Its chest and arms were silver. And from its waist down to its knees, it was bronze. From there to its ankles, it was iron. And its feet were a mixture of iron and clay. As you watched, a stone was cut from a mountain but not by human hands. The stone struck the feet, completely shattering the iron and clay, and swept away like chaff before the wind until no trace remained. But the stone became a tremendous mountain that covered the entire earth. Was that really the dream? How would I know? And the meaning of the dream? Why does it fill me with dread? Because you, O oh King of Kings, you are that head of gold. After you, there will arise another kingdom, and then a third, and then a fourth, as strong as iron. During the time of those kings, the god who rules from heaven will set up an eternal kingdom that will never fall. He's told Nebuchadnezzar that his kingdom will fall. Now I know that your god is above all other gods and kings because he gave you the power to explain this mystery. I will make you chief of all my wise men and governor of the province of Babylon. The work will be better done, my king, if these good men govern beside me. It will be as you wish.